Hello there. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Sorry about that. Headed down the, to the dock to do a little leaf maintenance. But if you clicked on this video, you're thinking about getting started with fly fishing. Now, there are a couple of misconceptions when it comes to fly fishing. Two major ones. The first one, we're gonna show you and talk about at the end of the video, right? Let's talk about the second thing. The second thing is fly fishing can be expensive. Fly fishing does not have to be expensive. You can get some great setups, starter setups, right? Rod, reel, line, and a lot of times the leader, the tapered leader is already tied to it for 200 bucks, right? And these are decent rods. These are not terrible rods, not throwaway rods. They're not gonna be an, an heirloom rod type of situation, but they're certainly good enough to get you started. So if you wanna pull the trigger, Go with a five weight, right? That pretty much handles all trout, some bluegill, small bass, things like that. That's that's a great kind of rod, do everything rod, right? As a five weight. You can get a setup from Echo that has rod, reel, and line for about $200. Reddington, nearly the same, just a little bit more. But you don't need to pay a lot, right, to get started. Now, in most cases, if you live in a cold area, you might wanna consider getting some waders, but you don't need waders to start fly fishing. All you need is a, a pair of boots or a pair of hiking boots. You don't even need a fly box, right? You could put your flies in a tin, right? Go to the fly shop, buy a few basics, keep it in that little tin and use that, put it in your pocket. You don't need all the fancy gear that if you do get into fly fishing, you're probably gonna buy, but you don't need it to get started. So. I wanted to erase that misconception if you're thinking about getting into fly fishing because it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't need to be full of complicated, expensive gear. It could be as simple as buying a rod reel setup that already has the line and a few flies. All you need now is a lake or a small stream or river to go and start casting. And that's really, really it. So the first major misconception is that you only catch small fish while fly fishing. Well, I'm gonna show you that that's not the case, right? I've got a friend of mine I taught how to fly fish 20 years ago, and when he saw me rigging up on one trip, he goes, what the heck are you doing? Don't, you're going fly fishing? Are you, are you trying to catch like four or five inch fish? <laughs> no, nope. I like to think that fly fishers catch even bigger fish than traditional fishers. <sighs> fish hold! Oh my God. It's a behemoth. Oh, oh my God. Fish on! Oh. 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 Wow, just so pretty. It's gonna happen. Here she comes. Oh my god. Oh, that's a good fish. First time I have to mend my life. Oh. Wow. That is a good fish. Glory shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys. Grace, ready. You ready? Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the size of this. Oh, oh my god. Look at this thing. <laughs> Oh. Nice fish. That's a nice fish. Oh my god. Oh. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, it's such a giant pig. There we go. Oh, it's got that great big head shake. Oh, oh, oh. oh God, I wish I could get him on the reel. Wow. 
you have to admit, right? Those were pretty impressive fish. I mean, wow, pretty, pretty cool. You too can catch fish like that on the fly rod. Now, if you decide, right, okay, you're ready to go, right? You're gonna do this. Now you're out there and you need a little help with your fly fishing cast. I put together a video right here that's gonna help you cast that fly rod just a little bit better. I promise you, after watching this video, it's gonna start to click and you're gonna be able to cast that line just a little bit further. All right, everybody, until the next time, fish on.